Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Camber 4 Hanging Style Bike Rack on our 2019 Toyota Highlander. Now our camber is going to allow us to take up to four bikes with us to and from the trail. And in my opinion, I prefer a bike rack that attaches to the hitch rather than a trunk mount or a roof mount rack. Mainly because I'm a little bit on the shorter side and I don't really like the idea of lifting my bike up over the head and potentially scratching the Highlander. And I also just don't really like the idea of strapping a bike rack to the back because again, potential scratches from it sitting on the surface. So in my opinion, hitch mounted rack is one of the easiest ways to carry your bikes. Now we are going to have three points of contact. We'll have two on the cross tube one on the vertical support and this is going to help keep the bike from swaying too much making that bike to bike contact now this is really easy to take off just got these little levers here you can press them that'll release the, the strap you can unfeed it and all of them are going to work that way then we can take our bike take it off so we get a closer look now i do want to mention that since our frame here doesn't have a really large opening it is a little bit of a challenge. Just gonna have to work it around those anti-sway cradles to get it off. But it's not that big of a deal. And as you can see, it's pretty easy just to kind of work it around, and pull the bike off, then we can set it aside. Now, before I put the straps back in place, do want to point out that on the straps, we do have this nice soft material. So we don't have to worry about any scratches or anything like that on the frame as well as we have that nice soft material in the cradles. Now these cradles are actually pretty neat. So we do have them spaced like this, but you can see we can adjust them and that's definitely gonna help accommodate different frames and different size bikes. This makes it a lot easier to get your bike in. Make sure it really has a secure grip. Another thing that's nice about those cradles is it has those channels in there, just little grooves. And that's specifically for the cables that are running on our bike. That way they're not getting crushed. And again, we're not damaging the paint on our bike. But I always like to put these straps back because I really don't want to hear them flop around in the wind. But being able to carry four bikes is just really nice. Especially, we've got a full-size SUV. We can take a load full of friends with us, get four bikes, and hit the trail. But as you can see, we're adding quite a bit of space to the back of our Highlander. I'm going to take a few measurements. If I come from the very back of the bumper, measure to the end of the arm, we're adding about 46 inches. And we don't always have that space, but we do have the option of folding the arms down when our bikes aren't on there. There's a lever at the very back of the mast. We can lift up and rotate the arms down. And here it locks into place, the audible click. Now if I measure from the same point, the farthest part of the rack is only coming in about 13 and a half inches. So it made a quite a bit of difference. Definitely going to help out pulling in the garage or even a parking space. Now at the closest point to our rack from the car, you can see we got plenty of space here. Even if it does start to move, we're not going to have to worry about it coming back that far. So there's no need to worry about contact, but just so you know, from the back of the bumper, it's about three and a half inches to the closest point here. Now, like most bike racks today, our bike rack is gonna tilt away so we can get access to the hatch. We're gonna have the same style lever on the back of the mask, except this one's gonna be on the bottom. Lift it up and tilt the bike rack away. And you can see we got plenty of room to get what we need either in or out of the hatch. Now, one thing you do kinda of wanna keep in mind is, is we don't recommend tilting the bike rack away with the bikes on it. You wanna make sure that the bikes are off, tilt the bike rack away, we can grab what we need, close the hatch up, then we can lift the bike rack up, start to rotate it back in, and again we'll hear that audible click knowing that it's locked back into position. Now one more measurement you might want to keep in mind is going to be the ground clearance. Now the lowest point is going to be at the very back here. Now you can see it's coming straight out of the receiver tube, so we're not losing any ground clearance, but you do want to keep in mind at the very back, it's going to be right about 13 inches. So if you've got a really steep driveway or you're going up a really steep incline, you just want to keep that in mind. Now our bike rack is going to work with two inch hitches. You can see the sleeve here, as well as inch and a quarter hitches, which is really nice because it's pretty versatile. So if you have several different vehicles in your family, probably can fit this in that hitch as well. 
Now it does come with an anti-rattle bolt, which is gonna take all that slop and play out of the receiver tube. And you can see the whole car is actually shaking because there's no play inside that receiver tube. Overall, I really like this rack because it does give you the option to carry up to four bikes. That's quite a bit of bikes to carry with you. And I just like the fact that it has these levers rather than a pin and clip or any kind of little thing we gotta mess with. It's really easy to use, really user friendly. And again, tooley has been around for a really long time and they make great products. And the camera's no different. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. But that'll finish up your look at the Thule Camber 4 Hanging Style Bike Rack on our 2019 Toyota Highlander.